Hello everyone and welcome back to the FRC Historian. This video is a follow-up to the last one in 1717, where today I'm going to be talking about Team 47, Chief Delphi. This was actually a post from Chief Delphi, which is a bit ironic, asking me about this team who they claim no longer exists and they want to hear more about. So for those of you who didn't know, Chief Delphi actually still exists. What happened was that in 2009, what happened was there were two high schools in Pontiac and teams 47 Chief Delphi and team 65 the Husky Brigade merged into one high, one high school was merged and then the two teams were merged into 51 the Wings of Fire. Now for those of you who did not know, up until 1999 teams were actually based on a different system other than number so there are actually many team numbers that were unreserved such as that and 51 was a thing that first gave the two teams to kind of put them in between as well as not taking one specific role now let's talk about chief delphi chief delphi for a long time was a fascinating team who did incredibly well their first year winning rookie all-star at the national championship as well as their second year becoming a hall of fame team in 1997 their second year also becoming the championship finalist one of the things is that Team 65, the Husky Brigade, won the championship in 2003. I'll get more into that later. But this team was a Hall of Fame team, which at the time they won, they were the only Michigan Hall of Fame team. Now, in 1998 is when they took off, actually becoming the regional winner and number one seed at both the Southwest and New England, New England and Great Lakers Regional, with in 1998 not quite winning the championship. 1999, they did astounding defense and quality. 2000, they won another regional. Actually, they won two regionals and became and pulled an X Cats and got a Chairman's Award finalist in 2000, as well as 2001, becoming the only one of the only teams to ever win the Chairman's Award twice. In a sense, because if this was now, they get a banner for each of them. Become one of the only teams to get a Chairman's Award twice after winning the original. Something that does not happen anymore. So as for the aforementioned 2001, they won the New York City Regional and became the division finalist on Curie. After 2002 winning the Western Michigan Regional, 2003 was different. In 2003, what was very interesting was that the Archimedes Division, Chief Delphi was the captain of their alliance. They were the masters of their sales and the captain of the second alliance along with their partners, the Feds and 547. Now, the teams they were up against were Wild Stang and Las Gorillas, who had a backup bot of 65, the Husky Brigade. And I've mentioned them before. This year, along 65, the backup bot of Wild Stang and Las Gorillas won Worlds against the division of the Feds, Chief Delphi, their captain, and 547, their backup bot. So one of the things people like to ask is if you can combine the histories of 65 from 47 into 51. But one of the reasons why you can't is that the 2003, in their, Gal in their Archimedes division, Chief, sorry, Wings of Fire did something no other team has ever done. They beat themselves in the finals, becoming both the winner and the finalist of that division. 2004, they won a regional 2000, and then after 2004, they did not win any more regionals, ending in 2009, however, getting a few finalists here and there, becoming a Woody Flowers finalist, winning the Team Spirit Award on the Einstein stage, which is a good thing to get, 2008 Detroit Regional, and then ended in 2009 after making it to the Galileo Division. Now, if you want to talk about, conversely, Team 65, the Husky Brigade, now, one of the things about the Husky Brigade is that they're the other side of the Wings of Fire. They're the other wing. The wing. And a lot of things about Team 47. 47 is seen as... Is seen more than 65 due to their Hall of Fame status. But 65 also had a great history becoming also a rookie all-star this their freshman year in 1997. But now winning it at the National Championships. In uh, 2000... Sorry. In 2000... One, they became a Chairman's Award finalist alongside 47, who's already a Hall of Fame team. In 2002, they won their first banner, winning the 2002 Great Lakes Regional, and then winning a chairman, Regional Chairman's in 2003, 
becoming regional finalist at Midwest, and then the backup bot division and championship winner in 2003. After that, they became a regional chairman's award winner in 2005. And then after that, they didn't win any more banners with a few regional finalists here and there. Up until 2009, their last year, where they became the backup bot for the hot alliance that won the first ever Michigan District Championship. Going on to the Galileo Division with 47, ending their time there. Then the two teams merged into 51. And if you're wondering how 51's doing, last year they made Einstein as the backup bot. So there it. And so for any of you who are truly wondering how they're still doing, they're still doing quite well. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new about Chief Delphi. And if you're wondering a lasting impact of this team, the streaming service you talk on or post on all the time was a creation of this team. Thank you for listening.